Well, most people just keel over and die, not even knowing they have a deadly problem. Abdominal aortic aneurysm, or AAA, is the third leading cause of death in men over 60. The aorta is the largest blood vessel in the body and carries blood from the heart to the organs. And over time, it can bulge and rupture, causing immediate death. In a special medical moment, Maureen takes a look at technology at the new St. Joseph Regional Medical Center that's making repairs easier and saving lives. Uh, we'll be married 58 years Friday. Uh -huh. And this is a, the only civilian hospital I've ever been in. 77 year old Fred Martin of Mishawaka considers himself a lucky man. He nearly died in Korea, but has been healthy ever since until he recently had nagging back pain that just didn't go away. So, what kind of symptoms have you been having? I didn't hurt at all, to tell you the truth. My back was hurting. So my doctor says you check your MRI. So we had an MRI and they found this. Dr. Imran Ansari found an abdominal aortic aneurysm. His aneurysm is very big. His aneurysm is roughly around seven centimeters. The normal aorta is three centimeters in size. Uh -huh. When you double the size to five centimeters, then you have an aneurysm. Dr. Ansari explains to Fred, his wife and family that it often means sudden death. This is the absolute size of the aorta itself. So 5.8 by 7.5, this is the biggest. So in down here, this portion here that I was saying is, this is the biggest size there. Meaning Fred is lucky he had back pain. And even luckier that this procedure can now be done outside the operating room in what's called a hybrid lab, right down the hall from the family. And what's the benefit for the patient? Time, efficiency, accuracy, and low radiation all of those and even contrast so we, when we take pictures we basically give contrast to the patient which can if you do not get a good picture we repeat it again and again all of these things basically are minimized when we do this in a very efficient lab with better imaging and with the family in the loop and nearby dr ansari says the patient is much more comfortable you can show them everything here so it's not like a hate to say but not like a voodoo medicine that is, you show them everything that is here. They see everything before, during, and after the procedure. No, patient is interactive in taking care of his own health, too. After a last-minute chat, Fred's ready to get his aneurysm fixed. We're just going to cure it. We're just going to cure everything today. Yeah. Let's, let's make you a half-bionic man today. But you're going to fix it. We're going to fix it. We're going to take care of it. You bet we are. Yes, we are. Okay? Yep. You gonna be okay? Sure. As Fred's being wheeled into this hybrid lab, surrounded by all the technology needed, he gives us a nod that he's enjoying this hospital experience much more than his first back in Korea. Maureen McFadden, News Center 16. And tomorrow, just before 6, Maureen will take you back inside the hybrid lab and show you just how doctors were able to fix what could have been a deadly aneurysm without any huge incisions. Yesterday, in a special medical moment just before 6, we told you about a deadly condition called AAA. AAA stands for abdominal aortic aneurysm, which is a bulging balloon of blood that can rupture and cause death. The weakness can be hereditary or from disease, but treating it has been invasive and dangerous. Now, a new way of treating AAA in Michiana is saving lives and getting people back home quickly. But a warning, this is surgery and there is blood. My back was hurting. 77-year-old Frederick Martin of Mishawaka hasn't been sick since serving in Korea 57 years ago, and he isn't used to sitting still. I wasn't allowed to pick anything up. Nothing. A backache led doctors to an aortic abdominal aneurysm. Fred was lucky. Half the people who have them don't know until it's too late. The blood-filled bulge ruptures and can cause immediate death. His doctor, Imran Ansari, showed Fred and his family just how serious his aneurysm is. His aneurysm is very big. His aneurysm is roughly around seven centimeters. But instead of heading into a traditional operating room, Fred is heading into one of St. Joseph Regional Medical Center's new hybrid cath labs, where a team of doctors has all the tools needed for the minimally invasive procedure. This cloth device will be sent up into Fred's groin through sheaths with small hooks attaching to his aorta. We're internally relining the aorta. So ultimately what you have then is a bifurcated graft um, and the aorta then is excluded okay. and it, it eventually shrinks. Frederick is wheeled in and prepped and then as part of the team approach, vascular surgeon Greg Creedy starts surgery. And giving us exposure to the blood vessel itself, the femoral artery. 
that's going to be our highway to put in the device. This is the tube that's going to go in the patient all the way up to his belly. We'll show it. And that's, this is the tube through which we're going to deliver our device. Once inside, a balloon will be inflated. And the balloon is going to work to do what? Balloon is going to use, when we deploy the device itself, we're going to tack it up inside the body. Thank you. Ready? It's time to start placing the device that will heal Frederick's aorta. So here we're going to put the needle in the artery itself. And what we're doing is putting a wire up. All while watching 3D images that help guide him. See the wire is going up. And now joined by his partner, Dr. Ashfaq Turk. And slowly slide it inside the artery here. And there it goes. After placing a catheter on the wire, the sheath goes in. You can see how the sheath is slowly migrating up. Looks nice. Very nice. I like it. That done, the team moves to the other side. This is the aortic device. It's called an excluder device. And remember the cloth-like valve you saw before surgery began? This is what it looks like before it's threaded through the sheath into Fred's body. She's going in. With all eyes on the monitor, Dr. Ansari checks 3D images. That's a nice image, by the way, Denny. Time to expand the device. That's going to be inflated. That's the syringe that's going to inflate it. Perfect. That's it. You ready to open? You see how the balloon is kind of just tacking it into the side, into the side of the aorta itself? Nicely expanding the stent to make sure it hugs the wall. Dr. Ansari then takes the balloon up the other side. There you see the balloon going up. Time for a final picture and liking what they see in 3D images. Dr. Ansari and Turk finish. Dr. Creedy moves back in to close up, saying how much this technology means for saving lives. The mortality of a ruptured aneurysm still in most of the literature is almost 50-50. And so those that are not freely ruptured but leaking and contained leaks, we do them endovascular like this, we've markedly improved their survival. And doctors Ansari and Turk say teamwork is key. And you saw how it all ran in a very nice functional manner. Everybody knows what to do. So we work together and try to complement each other. That way one side, one person takes care of other side, one, the procedure goes relatively faster and quicker. Making a big difference for patients like Frederick. And hopefully tomorrow start walking and day after tomorrow home. With technology on his side, Frederick is wheeled toward his waiting family with his aorta beating as it should. We're happy to report Frederick went home two days after surgery and we'll catch up with him in about a month and let you know if he's back to all that yard work he was looking forward to do. And if you'd like more information on this procedure, you can find links at the bottom of this story.